I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you can see, I have my client here and we are just going to do a super short, simple, full set with some gel polish and glitter embellished or burnished into that um, gel polish. So I'm going to start off and do my prep as usual. I'm just using the Outer Space Pusher Scraper from Glitter Planet and I'm just pushing back those cuticles. They were quite overgrown and pulled down the nail plate so we want to reveal as much of that nail plate as we possibly can to give our acrylic a wider area to be able to grip to because the more surface area that the acrylic has to be laid upon obviously the stronger that enhancement is going to be and the more stable and sturdy as well so it's important to reveal as much of that nail plate as possible but you still want to be gentle you don't want to be causing any issues you don't want to cause any discomfort for the client and you don't want to obviously cause any infection or anything like that which is why we always insist on being extremely careful when doing any cuticle work and make sure all your tools and everything is clean and sanitary so next, once I've finished pushing back the cuticles, it's time to come in with my file. And I'm just coming in and etching the nail. I'm also using that cornered side to kind of push back the cuticles, not further because they already are pushed back, but it just sort of gives it a nice even shape. And I found that I just have done that for such a long time. It's just what I do now. Um, so yeah, and it really makes sure that you're etching right up into that nail. Um, and up into the side walls and around the cuticle area as well as you can see I'm just using the file to really get up in there these files are available from Glitter Planet and I'll have everything linked for you guys down below if you do want to check it out and don't forget to use my code ninja10 for 10% off So once I do finish off prepping the nails, trimming back any cuticles and everything like that, it's time to sanitize and cleanse the nails again and then come in and I'm going to be applying the pointed almond nail tips in this case from Glitter Planet and I'll have those linked again for you down below if you want to check them out. I love using these tips, they're very versatile and very easy to apply, especially on shorter nail beds. So once I finished applying the nail tips, I went ahead and trimmed off the excess length and rounded them off. This is the shape that my client wanted, something really light and natural. Not a shape that's going to be sort of like over the top and just get in the way. Good job, pudding. No going in it. Oh, good. So as you can see, I'm just applying my primer to the nail now and this is just going to be the nice base for the acrylic and then I'm coming in with clear acrylic and today I'm sure that I used the number 10 because her nails were so small. I used the number 10 um, magic stick instead of the 12. Again, I love this brush. It's one of my absolute favourites. We do have um, a restock of the brushes happening at the end of the month. If it's not at the end of the month, it will be the first week in December. They are just currently being manufactured. Every time we restock something, you guys just love everything so freaking much. And I'm so amazed. But everything just goes out of stock literally like that. It is unbelievable. I'm so, so thankful for your guys' support. It's just honestly insane. And I cannot believe how amazing it actually has been and is being. Like, it's continuously just growing and being incredible. Everyone is just freaking bomb. Like, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, I'm literally just applying a clear oh, nail to this. Like we're not adding any colored acrylic or glitter because we're just gonna have the clear as our base and the structure as well. And over the top is just going to be a gel polish design with some glitter just so we can easily change. Yes? Wow. Back in a minute, guys.
So once I've finished applying all of my acrylic and it has set, I come in and I file and buff everything and then it's ready to apply some colour and some glitter. So I'm coming in with this colour and it is a gel polish from Madame Glam. I do have a 30% off coupon code and I'll link the website down below for you guys if you want to check those out. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I think I only apply one coat of this gel polish i'm curing it in the light and then i'm coming in and adding my glitter to the tacky layer that is left behind after curing um i find that when i'm doing a full glitter nail usually just one coat of that base color is needed to sort of just fill in those gaps Okay, so at first my client was just like, I'll just have the one, or sorry, the two nails, the ring finger and the thumb. And then she saw them. She was like, oh my God, we need to do all of them. I was like, yeah, yeah. So of course we went ahead and completed all of the nails with this fine glitter from Glitter Planet. And let me just find the name for you guys and then I'll let you know. So I just double checked for you guys and the glitter is called Bob from Glitter Planet. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous. There is a whole series of these um, types of glitters. They are a fine glitter but they've got multi-tones within them as well as being holographic so they're honestly stunning. So once I obviously apply the glitter I then apply a no wipe top coat cure in the light and finish off with some nourishing cuticle oil just to put that nourishment back into the client's cuticles and hands so they're not all dry plus they just look nice um, for the final pictures and then the client hasn't got like dust and little dry bits everywhere. So yeah that is this look complete super simple but I just thought it's, I haven't done um, a set on a client in such a long time that I would film this for you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching guys and always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. See you later alligator. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back, let it swing right back